Are you able to go into a sauna after breast implant surgery? I mean, will they melt? So, no worries. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, as far as submerging the incisions after surgery, I would wait three weeks. Okay. Before you take a bath or get in a hot tub or a sauna. Can you shower? Uh, yeah, showering is okay, but... It's good, yeah. Showering the next day is fine. Okay. So the shell of the implant can handle maybe 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. So a sauna is not that hot. A hot tub is not that hot. I would say that a person would melt before the implant melts. Okay. So you're good. I mean, you have bigger yeah. problems no, if you're that right. hot. Um, no so there's no worries there. How about the flip side? What if you're like a mountain climber and you're in really cold temperatures? Can they actually freeze? You know, the implant is surrounded by your body. Mm -hmm. And there's a layer of fat and muscle and skin and tissue, so it's behind all of that. It takes on mostly the core temperature of your own body. So if the implant were to freeze, that would mean you'd have to freeze too. So whether you're talking about hot temperatures or cold temperatures, basically the implant can handle as much or more than your body can handle. Absolutely. Gotcha. So I read a very interesting article. This may sound a little weird, but it said that Breast implants can actually help slow down a bullet if, God forbid, somebody was shot. Is that true? It is true. There was a recent study, and it said that the bullet was somewhat deflected because of the breast implant. In a way, <laughs> the breast implant saved the patient's life. Wow. I've also heard that they acted like extra airbags. A patient was in a head-on crash and the implants saved her, the steering wheel. And as I mentioned before, with police women, their bulletproof vests, this is sort of like double protection for them. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Besides the vest, they have their implants as well. And again, all these real life stories about these tragic things happening to women who've had breast implant surgery. And like you said, they can handle hundreds of pounds. So even a head-on collision or something that causes a great impact isn't going to affect the, the breast itself. Right. Now, you have to be careful. We're not recommending that you should get implants okay. in order to prevent crashes or injuries from bullets and that sort of, <laughs> of thing. Of course. Uh, but know, if you were but, to get in that sticky situation, it, it wouldn't might, be a bad thing. It might be helpful. Wow. So that's not the recommendation, but it could make a difference. Unbelievable.